going to bring to us a short message entitled a spiritual watchman a spiritual watchman i know this has been a great week of prayer and our theme has been spiritual midwifing bringing forth the purposes of god through prayer but today i want us to look at this subject of a spiritual watchman because i desire to commission us to become spiritual watchmen praise the name of the living god najua ili jina watchmen kule nje halipendwi sana lakini katika biblia kulingana na neno la mungu each one of us we are supposed to be spiritual watchmen to some degree god can raise you to be a spiritual watchman in your family god can raise you to be a spiritual watchman in a church in a city god can raise you to be a spiritual watchman in a nation and there are those who have been able even to advance further praise the name of the living god so all of us to a certain level we are supposed to be spiritual watchmen and we are going to be looking into the word of god who is a spiritual watchman the work of a spiritual watchman and then by the end of this service uh, you'll have an opportunity to tell god help me to be a spiritual watchman depending on the jurisdiction that god has positioned you some of you in your family you need to become a watchman and watch over that family so that the enemy will not be able to attack that family without anyone knowing jesus was a watchman over the disciples and that is why he said peter peter the enemy want to sift you as wheat adui anataka kupepete kama ngano lakini nimekuombea yani ni kumaanisha i've been able to watch in the spirit and i've been able to see what the enemy want to do to peter and i've already prayed for him a spiritual watchman is one who is able to see in the spirit and see what the enemy is planning before it manifest in the physical and you can be able to arrest a situation before it is manifested sometimes god allows us to see things even in dreams before they manifest but when you wake up you say it was just another dream but god is ministering it to you as a spiritual watchman and he is telling you this is what the enemy is planning in this family this is what the family is planning in this neighborhood or city or nation praise the name of the living god and sometimes we take that for granted but i believe from today god is going to help us we are going to begin reading from the book of ezekiel chapter 33 from verse 1 because ezekiel is one of the people we see in the bible being called directly by god to become a watchman over the children of israel the word of the lord came to me son of man speak to your countrymen and say to them when i bring the sword against a land and the people of the land choose one of the your men and make him their watchman and he sees the sword coming against the land and blows the trumpet to warn the people then if anyone hears the trumpet but does not take warning and the sword comes and takes his life his blood will be on his own head since he had the sound of the trumpet but did not take warning his blood will be his, on his own head if he had been take, if he had taken warning he would have saved himself but if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet to warn the people and the sword comes and takes the life of of one of them that man will be taken away because of his sin but i'll hold the watchman accountable for his blood then verse 7 the last one we are going to read son of man i have made you a watchman for the house of israel so hear the word i speak and give them warning from me bona pewe sifa one of the things we have been able to learn from the bible is that all truths are parallel we have been learning from uh, a, a spiritual midwifing 
and we have been learning from the work that is done by health professionals who are midwives. They help to bring in the new life. They protect what is being born. Praise the name of the living God. But here we see another parallel of a watchman. God comes to Ezekiel and he gives him a natural example that if people appoint one of them to become a watchman, that means that watchman is appointed by men. You know, in the old days, uh, cities uh, had those huge walls and there were watchmen uh, who were going around those walls watching uh, if there is any intruder who is coming. Now, wakiweza kuona kuna hatali inayokuja, wanapiga tarumbeta ili kila mtu waweze kuonywa ya kwamba kuna hatali ambayo inayokuja. Kwa hivyo Mungu akaanza na Ezekiel ya kwamba kama watu wako wamemchagua moja wao awe watchman. Hivi ndivyo anavyopaswa kufanya. Lakini mstari wa saba, Mungu anamwambia Ezekiel na wewe sasa Ezekiel ni mimi ninaye kuchagua. Ha? Praise the name of the living God. Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. So hear the word I speak and give them warning from me. So God is telling Ezekiel, the same way your people appoint a watchman to watch over them. The same way now, I am appointing you to become a watchman to watch over my people. Praise the name of the living God. And God is telling Ezekiel, one of the things you are supposed to do is to hear. Bwana pewe sifa. Hallelujah. I, I believe uh, there are jobs, even if you are enabled differently, you cannot be able to perform very well. Especially as a watchman, you need your eyes and you need your ears. Praise the name of the living God for you to be able to perform effectively. Thank God for the technology nowadays. Somebody can be in a room. Um, if they can only see, they can be able to monitor the CCTV cameras and maybe be able to communicate if there is anything they see. But here we see that uh, Ezekiel is supposed to hear what God is speaking to him and warn the people. So let's see the qualities of a spiritual watchman. So number one, quality is ability to hear from God. Ability to hear from God. So that when God is sending a warning to your family, to your city, to your nation, you can be able to capture that warning in the spirit and warn your family. Praise the name of the living God. One of the mistakes that Eli did is not warning his children with the weight it deserved. And God brought judgment in the house of Eli. Lazima kuwe kuna mtu ambaye anaweza kujua jamii yetu inaonywa na Mungu. Na unajua kusikia kutoka kwa Mungu unaweza sikia kwa njia nyingi. Hata kuna mambo yanaweza kufanyika ina family uone this pattern fulani juzi yamepata ajali. Mwingine imefanyika hivi. Huyu naye tumemzika juzi. Hapa kuna kitu Mungu anasema. Watchman anaangalia pattern ya mambo. Na akiangalia pattern ya mambo anajua Mungu anatuonya kama jamii. Praise the name of the living God. Watchman akiwa mahali we unaweza mahali usimame. Na uangalie watu wakipita. Lakini mtu yule ako trained kusimama kwa hiyo gate. Ako na uwezo wa kudisan mtu ambaye ni mbaya anapoingia. Kwa sababu anaweza angalia watu wale wanaingia, angalie behavior yao, wengine vile walivyo na wasiwasi, mwingine vile amepita pita hapo mara mingi na apika utaseme huyu mtu ako na nia mbaya. Nawe kama a spiritual watchman, unapoangalia mambo, hauoni kama a natural man. Unaona kama a spiritual person. There are times that God speaks through circumstances. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. There are circumstances uh, 
that can help you to pick what God is saying and be able to communicate the same. So number one quality of a spiritual watchman is the ability to hear. Number, one, number two, the ability to see. Praise the name of the living God. Seeing in other spiritual terms is called uh, discernment. Because it is not just seeing uh, with your physical eyes. It is discernment. Ability to discern. If you are a spiritual watchman in this church, and the enemy sends bad people to come in the church, you can be able to discern that this congregation, there are people who are sent by the enemy, and they have not just come to worship in an ordinary service. You can be able to pick it up. That is called discernment. Because, brethren, we must be aware that the enemy is at work. And when people are happy and celebrating and saying peace, peace, the Bible says sudden destruction will come upon them. So, lazima kwe kuna mtu ambaye akona discernment. Ata in a family, huh? kuna mtu anaweza kupika pia kwamba wapendwa na tuombe. Hizi safari safari tuko nazo tumetegwa. Kuna jambo linaweza kufanyika. Mama ambaye ni a spiritual watchman anaweza kuambia watoto wake, huh? uh, I, I was reading of a woman na Mungu akawa anamuone, yeah? kuna roho ya kifo inainda watoto wake. So hata wakisafiri alikuwa anawaambia tafadhali musiende na gari moja. Because alikuwa anaona wakiena na gari moja na hiyo gari hiyo ndiyo itakayopata ajali si semi discernment is not suspicion praise the name of the living god and finally an accident came ha yeah? lakini yule alikuwa kwa ajali huyo mmoja hakumia sana wale wengine hawakuwa kwa ile gari kwa sababu ni a spiritual watchman ana sense ya kwamba tunatafutwa kuna ubaya unataka kuingia katika hii jamii Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Watoto wako anaweza kuwa mbali shule. But ukiwa a spiritual watchman, unaweza kujua wakati hatari na ubaya unatafuta watoto wako. Praise the name of the living God. Unasikia tu ndani yako some lessness. Huh? Sometimes God can minister to you as a watchman through dreams. Na unaelewa ya kwamba God is communicating with you. The problem is that there are people who are called to be watchmen, but they have not been able to take their position so that God can continue to help them, even to watch over their families, over their church, over the city, over the nation, as they ought. Wana pewe sifa. Diyo mungu anasema ya kwamba, hatendi jamburorote kama hawajafunulia watumishi wake manabii they are watchmen ambao kabla Mungu hajakubalia jambo lifanyike atawajulisha either walichukue na uzito waweze kuomba walisimamishe ama likija lisikuje na uzito ambao lingekuja nao praise the name of the living god may god awake all the spiritual watchmen in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, in our families, uh, in this ministry, we need spiritual watchmen. Praise the name of the living God. Wale wanaweza kujua kwamba kuna mipango shetani yanapanga kinyume na huduma hii. So hata tunapoimba hapa sifa na tunarukaruka, watchmen wanajua kuna mipango mibaya inapangwa. Praise the name of the living God. Kwa sababu Mungu amewaweka pale. That is why the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 62 and verse 6, hmm? that ye appear who post watchmen. I have posted watchmen on your walls of Jerusalem. They will never be silent day or night. You who call on the Lord, give yourselves no rest. And give him no rest till uh, he establishes uh, Jerusalem and makes her the praise uh, of the earth. Praise the name of the living God. God is saying, I have posted watchmen. He was speaking 
to a people who understood this language because they could look at the walls of Jerusalem and day and night they could see watchmen watching over the city. And God now is coming with a spiritual language and he is telling them, I have, over, I have also posted watchmen on the walls of Jerusalem. These are not people who are posted in the physical walls. They are posted in the spiritual walls. They are guarding the walls of protection in the family. They are guarding the walls of protection in the church. They are standing in the gap to build the hedge so that the enemy cannot be able to attack. They are posted in the same way we see our army being posted in the borders to protect us. The same way God posts men and women who can be able to watch over the nation. People who can be able to see when the enemy is planning an attack against the nation. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. May God awake every watchman. So number one, a watchman is able to hear. Number two, a watchman is able to see. Because they are uniquely equipped by God to be able to see and hear. They are uniquely equipped by God. God equips the watchman in a way that you can be able to see things that others cannot see. God equips a watchman in a way that you can be able to hear things that others cannot be able to hear. Praise the name of the living God. Wakati watu wengine wanaona mambo yote yako sawa, wewe hata unaanza kusikia hata ni kama unashindwa kula chakula. Because unasikia kuna hatari ambayo inayokuja. Na unasikia kuomboleza. Na unasikia kwamba ungetaka kumuita Mungu ili janga linalotaka kupata jamii ama taifa ama kanisa ama muji janga lile lisiweze kuingia tumepatwa na janga hapa juzi hapa nakuru maafa yasiyo ya kawaida mambo kama yale yanapotokea kuna watu Mungu weka huzuni ndani yao praise the name of the living god kuna watu Mungu anawaamsha Anawambia simama kwa sababu kuna hatari inayokuja. And when there are no watchmen, kuna mambo mengi adui yanaweza kupangia watu. And that is why Jesus said in the book of Matthew chapter 13 and verse 25 that when they slept, when the watchmen sleep, but while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away but while everyone was sleeping you know as much as there are people who are sleeping not everyone who is supposed to sleep to see to kienda kurara kuna watu wanabaki awake nani anabaki akiwa awake si ni watchman anabaki ah kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha watu wote wakilala kuna mambo huwa adui anakuja kuyapanda hata kanisa kama hili watu wote wakiingia kwa usingizi wa kiroho. Kuwe hakuna mtu aliye na watchman spirit. Kuna mambo yatapandwa na tutakuja kustukia wakati adui ametuvamia. Na hayo sio mapenzi ya Mungu. Mungu huweka roho ya watchman, a spiritual watchman, mtu ambaye ha? unajua hii kurara sio kurara ile usingizi ya kitanda ni ile kurara usingizi ya kiroho na hauoni na hausikii haupambanui chochote ambacho kinachoendelea katika ulimwengu wa kiroho wapendwa tunakataa magugu kupandwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo si Mungu akusaidie kuelewa mambo kabla hayajafanyika why did Jesus speak in the spirit ya kwamba shetani anataka kumpepeta petero kama ngano because Jesus was a spiritual watchman hata kuna wakati Yesu aliangalia Jerusalem akaanza tu kulia machozi wakashangaa bona Yesu unalia na hakuna kitu mbaya kinafanyika Yesu akasema kuna wakati unakuja na mtavamiwa na maadui zenu 
watoto wenu watakuwa wanatolewa katika mimba ya tumbo za mama yao Yesu akawa analia That is a spiritual watchman Wakati nyinyi mnaona mambo yote yako sawa yeye anaangalia anaona hatari ikiwa mbali Anasema kwa sababu hamkujua wakati wa kutembelewa kwenu mambo haya yatawapata That means kuna wakati wa kuwalesta a bad situation Kuna wakati unaweza simamisha janga na lisiweze kutokea liwe linagonga jamii liwe linagonga kanisa muji ama taifa linaweza kusimamishiwa mbali lakini linahitaji spiritual watchmen watu ambao they are awake in the spirit they have spiritual ears to hear they have spiritual eyes to see wanaona mambo yaliyo mbali so Yesu akamwambia Petero nimekuombea kwa sababu nimeona kile adui yamepanga juu yako na juu ya dugu zako hataki musimame baada ya mimi kuondoka angetaka kuwavuruga na hii kazi nimeanza ifike mwisho Shetani alikuwa anaona tiari Petero ndiye atakuwa kiongozi katika lile kanisa la kwanza because the devil does not fight success he fights potential he can see what you carry before it manifest praise the name of the living god hallelujah and that is why we need spiritual watchmen people who can be able to watch over our families watoto wako kuna kuweza kuwa mmoja ambaye anabeba a seed of greatness na unaweza kuta anapatwa na mambo yasiyo ya kawaida mzazi ukiwa spiritual watchman utaelewa huyu mtoto anatafutwa kwa sababu ya kile amebeba na utaanza kumzingira Unaweza hata kumtolea dhabihu, unaweza hata kufunga kwa ajili yake, unaweza hata kumpeleka ombewe na mtumishi wa Mungu ndio apate special covering. Kwa sababu as a watchman umeweza kuona kile ambacho kinazunguka maisha yake. I awaken the spirit of spiritual watchmen in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God so that the enemy will not sleep in unnoticed. When there are no spiritual watchmen the enemy can sleep in unnoticed anaingia tu hata kwenu nyumbani kama nyinyi wote mmerara na hakuna watchman si adui atakuja apande tu pole pole ha? na kama ulikuwa usingizi mzito afungue mlango ukiamka hivi unamwona hapo kado ya kitanda sijui nisikia kuna wengine sijui anatumia nini ha? wanakuja anavunja mpaka mlango unamkuta wakati ameingia kwa bedroom the same thing ha? afadhali hata mtu ambaye ako na spiritual watchman kwa sababu kuna mambo mengine watchman wa kawaida hawezi kukulinda they are spiritual things kuna magonjwa kuna janga kuna shida ambazo mwanadamu hata akikulinda hataweza kuzuilia Praise the name of the living God. Lakini mkono wa Mungu unaweza kuarrest any bad situation that comes on your way. Praise the name of the living God. I awaken the spirit of spiritual watchmen in our midst in the mighty name of Jesus. A watchman is there to warn the people so that they are not destroyed. The watchman is there to blow the trumpet. Praise the name of the living God. Watchmen hafai kuona jambo mbaya linakuja anyamaze. Anafaa kiona jambo baya. Mungu alimwanzishia Ezekiel na kumwambia watchman wa kawaida anafanya nini. Sasa akamwambia na wewe na kufanya uwe watchman wangu. Kama vile watchman wa kawaida akiona hatari, he blows a trumpet the same way you are going to do to my people. Praise the name of the living God. There are times we need to blow a trumpet and tell our families, let's pray. Tell the church, let's wage warfare. Tell the nation, let's not just sit down and watch helplessly. Let us call upon the name of the Lord, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 
The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter 5 and verse 6, uh, So then, let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be a rat and self-controlled. Praise the name of the living God. Can we read the same in the, the New Living Translation? So be on your guard. Not asleep like others. Stay a rat and be clear-headed. Praise the name of the living God. So a watchman is not supposed to sleep uh, like everybody else. A watchman is supposed to be a rat. A rat in the spirit. Someone who is able to pick spiritual signals. Somebody who is able to search information in the spirit. Praise the name of the living God. Do you know there are times when you are sleeping, you are supposed just to pray, just to worship, maybe read the word of God and pray. And as you pray, you are praying in a mode that God can be able to release any information that you want to release to you, to minister to you. So that you know even the dreams that comes to you, they are not just coming to you unaware. Your mind, you are right that you are waiting for the Lord to come and minister to you. The work of a spiritual watchman is to be a rat. That even when I am sleeping, oh God, I sanctify my mind. I pray the blood of Jesus upon my life. And I pray that your presence be with me tonight. And I receive every ministration that comes from you. You are a rat. So that even as you sleep, God can be able to minister to you. Praise the name of the living God. I told you of a dream that I dreamt and I struggled with two people in a dream. The struggle woke me up and my wife woke up and aniangalia vile ninapigana katika ndoto. Baadaye akaniuliza what is happening. Nikamuuliza kwa nini? Akaniambia nimeona vile ume struggle. Nikamwambia nimekuwa na struggle na watu wawili. Lakini nimewashinda. Na wakati walipoondoka wote wawili walisema na tulikosa mtu wako na nguvu wa kupasua hili kanisa. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. We unaweza angalia kanisa tu liko sawa, lakini haujui there are forces of darkness that are always struggling to see that what you are laboring for will not stand, will not endure. Jesus has called us to bear fruit and fruit that is going to endure. May your work endure every attack of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, no weapon forged against your worker, uh, against your marriage, your children, your business, uh, your career, no weapon forged against you will prosper. Whatever the enemy is planning, uh, we command it to be aborted. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, whatever the enemy has conceived against us, uh, we command it now, be flushed out uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, in the spirit realm, we abort every wicked plan. In the mighty name of Jesus, forces of premature death, forces of sickness and disease, forces of accidents, be aborted now. In the mighty name of Jesus, every attack of our children, be aborted now. In the mighty name of Jesus, arise our God. And let every weapon uh, that is forged against us uh, be destroyed uh, by the blood of Jesus uh, and by the power of the Holy Spirit uh, in the name of Jesus. Kila baganda babo shanda baganda. Unaweza kuwa unaendelea na mambo yako vizuli. Na unafikiria it is well. The Bible says when they shall, see peace, they shall say peace, peace, sudden destruction. When there is no spiritual watchman, sudden destruction can slip in. Praise the name of the living God. Because the enemy can slip in unnoticed. Before everything happens in the physical, it begins in the spirit realm. And if there is a spiritual watchman who is able to see and hear, they can be able to locate the enemy before the enemy slips in into the family, into the church, into the city, into the nation. I awaken the spirit of a spiritual watchman 
in your life. May God minister to you from tonight. May God show you things in the mighty name of Jesus before they happen. In the mighty name of Jesus. May you pray before you sleep and tell God, I sleep in your presence and whatever you'd like me to know, Lord, reveal it to me in Jesus' name. May you pray in the spirit ready to receive a word from the Lord. Ready to receive a revelation from the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every believer, you have a level of the spiritual watchman spirit. Because you are supposed to watch and pray. Praise the name of the living God. You are supposed to be watching over your life. Hata ukishindu wa kulinda maisha ya watu wengine, si ulinda yako. Usiwe unapato tu na mambo hivi gafra. Bwana pewe sifa. Ha? You know, hii maombi ya fire brigade sio mzuri. Gali ya zima moto haiondoki kwa station kabla moto haujawanza kuwaka. Wengi tunaamuka wakati shida imetokea. Na wakati shida imetokea, hata kama you arrest the situation, there will be casualties. We need to arrest the situation kabla haijatokea. Bwana apewe sifa. Na sababu moja ya kuwa tunaomba ni ku make sure that ya kwamba we are awake in the spirit and we can be able to capture spiritual signals. Praise the name of the living God. Sometimes unaweza kuomba na kuna jambo liko unataka kufanya, lakini baada ya mambo unasikia radha ya kufanya lile jambo imeondoka. Pengine hata ni safari, pengine hata ni kuwekeza. You wanted to invest, lakini unasikia vile unavyoendelea kuomba ndio unaondolewa katika lile jambo. Because ndani yako Mungu ameweka huo uwezo wa kutambua you are, you are a spirit man remember huh? this body is a house is a tent you are a spirit man living in a physical body and your spirit sometimes is able to see and to detect something that are beyond the physical praise the name of the living god especially now when you combine with the holy spirit he becomes your teacher and he guides you into all the truth. Praise the name of the living God. I pray that God is going to raise national spiritual watchmen. People who can be able to watch over the nation. Angalia mtu kama Elisha atuna wakati mlefu. But Elisha was able even to help the king of Israel. Angetumania mfalme. Anamwambia mfalme. Mfalme wa Aram. Anakungojia maariflani. Usipite katika hiyo njia. And the king would send people. Wanaenda, wanaangalia. Wanakuta ni kweli. Praise the name of the living God. Paka mfano wara makakasirika. Akauliza his men. Nani huwa anatoa siri zangu hapa? Because the liona hazima kwe kuna mtu anatoa siri. Praise the name of the living God. Waka muambia mfano. Uishi milele. Lakini kuna mtu wako kule Israeli anaitwa Elisha. Huyo hata ukiongea kwa bedroom ana pick signals. Praise the name of the living God. Akasema muniambia kwa wapi? Kaambiwa kwa Dothan. Akatuma jeshi. Walipoenda Gehazi ndiye alikuwa ameamka mapema kupika chai. Praise the name of the living God. Wakati Gehazi alienda kumwaga maji nafikiri alikuwa amepika ugali jioni sasa kwenda kumwaga maji ndio sasa <laughs> atayalisha chai akaona jeshi limewazunguka akarudi nyumbani haraka akasema woi tumekwisha praise the name of the living god kwa sababu gehazi hakuwa na macho ya kiroho aliona tu adui naye elisha akamwombea akamwambia bwana ufungue macho aone wale walio upande wetu Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Nataka kusema nini? Shetani hapendi spiritual watchmen. That is why the king came to attack Elisha. Because I did kwamba Elisha is a threat to all my plans. Imagine amewacha jeshi. Amewacha hata mfalme wa Israeli. Sasa amesema I am going to deal with a spiritual watchman. Huyu ambaye hata nikiongea kwa bedroom anajua kile ninachopanga. Huo ni mfano wa shetani 
ya kwamba hapendi spiritual watchman na as a spiritual watchman sometimes unaweza kupitia vita ha sometimes unaweza sikia hata sauti za mapepo zikikwambia wewe ndio unazuilia tufanye kazi yetu hapa praise the name of the living god i have prayed for such people ha wanaambiwa wewe ndio unazuilia tufanye kazi yetu hapa kwa sababu uchochote wanachopanga kinaikuwa exposed wanapiga tarumbeta kinaombewa kinakuwa aborted bwana pewe sifa i declare the covering and the protection of god uh, upon every spiritual watchman uh, in the mighty name of jesus uh, na wale shetani alipigana na wewe akungoe macho ya kiroho ndio usiendelee kuona i declare restoration uh, wale shetani yaliondoa hiyo neema ya kuomba paka unaingia mahali pa kuonyeshwa na Mungu mambo yale ya dui yanapanga i declare restoration of that grace may god restore the praying anointing the grace of prayer upon your life may god restore that prophetic unction upon your life in the mighty name of jesus lord i raise the spiritual watchmen again that they may take their position in the mighty name of jesus because you are calling them to be able to watch over the families over the church over the city over the nation over your purposes in the name of jesus spiritual watchmen receive the grace receive the covering receive the anointing receive the touch of god yes Shakaba ganda babo shelebe genda rima handa huyo Mungu aeraisha ndiye Mungu wetu hata siku ya leo Mungu atakuinua tutategua mitego ya kitaifa katika jina la Yesu ambayo inategewa taifa letu na haitaweza kufauru shetani akipanga mabaya iwe anayapanga juu ya viongozi wetu tutayapangua chochote ambacho sio baba amepanda the bible says in the book of matthew chapter 15 and verse 13 whatever planter is not planted by my father he replied every planter that my heavenly father has not planted will be pulled up by the roots and even now we are pruta every planter every agenda every planner that is not of god in this nation in this county in this church in your family i am pruta in the name of jesus every planner hesha kabaganda rima reka baganda bashanda reka baganda bashanda i am pruta in the name of jesus that which is not of god will dry will wither from the roots uh, in the name of Jesus uh, because uh, there are spiritual watchmen watching uh, over the land uh, in the name of Jesus uh, the plans uh, of the enemy the agenda of the enemy will not uh, succeed uh, in the name of Jesus uh, take your position uh, in the name of Jesus kela baganda babo shanda baganda Rebaganda bashanda I let tell you as a spiritual watchman and those who have already taken their position receive more grace receive more clarity in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus maroho yale upigana na spiritual watchmen ninasimama hapa kwa mamlaka Mungu amenipatia ninasema hayana uwezo katika jina la Yesu Kristo the bible says uh, for this cause uh, the son of god uh, was manifested uh, that he may destroy all the works uh, of the enemy we are here to destroy all the works uh, of the enemy in the mighty name of jesus uh, and the works of the enemy will not prevail uh, in our nation uh, in the mighty name of jesus uh, even in the forthcoming election uh, in the name of jesus uh, we are pruta uh, every diabolic agenda of the enemy against the elections uh, in the mighty name of jesus uh, and we declare there shall be peace uh, before and 
healing and after the erections in the mighty name of Jesus and every planter, every reader that is not planted of the Father will be uprooted with the roots in the name of Jesus. Yes! Shaka Baganda Bashanda Baganda Rika Baganda Bashanda Baganda Spiritual watchmen Awake Awake, awake And take up your position In the name of Jesus Receive the grace Receive the anointing now In the mighty name of Jesus Rika Baganda Bashanda Baganda Rika Baganda Bashanda Baganda. There are so many plans of the enemy that will not succeed from today. Because God is raising you as a spiritual watchman. Praise the name of the living God. You are going the same way we have been talking about spiritual midwifing, conceiving the purposes of God. Tonight we declare, whatever the enemy has conceived will be aborted. We give unto him a miscarrying womb in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be miscarriage in the womb of the enemy, in the spiritual womb of the enemy, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As we were told yesterday, Joseph was told, do not fear to take your wife, Mary. Because what is conceived of her is of the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of the living God. We declare whatever is not conceived of the Holy Spirit, whatever is conceived of the enemy, let it be aborted in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, whatever is not uh, of God uh, in your life, uh, command it now. Be aborted uh, in my life, uh, in my family, in my business. Uh, let there be miscarriage uh, of every plan uh, of the enemy in my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, whatever the enemy has conceived uh, against my life, uh, against my children, uh, against my wife, uh, against my calling, uh, against my ministry, be aborted uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, there will be no conception, uh, there will be no pregnancy, there will be no birth uh, of the plans uh, of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Uh, Yes, we abort uh, the plans uh, of the enemy against our city, against our nation, uh, against the church uh, in Kenya. The church in Kenya is a springboard uh, of revival in the name of Jesus uh, and the plan uh, of God uh, in the church uh, will not uh, be aborted uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, yes! Shaka Baganda Bashanda Baganda Reka Baganda Bashanda Reka Baganda Bashanda Reka Baganda Bashanda Baganda Reka Baganda Bashanda Can you tell God anoint me as a spiritual watchman from today? The enemy will not sleep in and noticed in my life and noticed in my business and noticed in my family in my city in my nation lord anoint me as a spiritual watchman the god of Elisha, the god of Elisha, the god who reveals uh, the secrets of men uh, the hidden things uh, is my god uh, whatever the enemy may be planning uh, against your life uh, against your children uh, against your business your career against you according uh, in the name of Jesus uh, receive the grace uh, of a spiritual watchman uh, in the name of Jesus Reka uh, Maganda Reka Baganda Bashanda 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 Reka Baganda Rimaanda Reka Baganda Bashanda
Simama tuombe pamoja. Ninataka kuomba tena kwa sababu kuna watu Mungu atawasaidia sana kuweza kufanya kazi na yeye kama spiritual watchman kuna watu Mungu atawasaidia sana atawawezesha yu Mungu ambaye alikuwa anamuita Ezekiel anamwambia Ezekiel kama vile watu wa dunia hii huwa wana appoint one of their want to be a watchman hata mimi niko na kazi ya spiritual watchman watu ambao wanaweza kuwa wanaangalia adui anapokuja kuvamia watu wangu ni kama Mungu alikuwa anamwambia Ezekiel nimechoka kuona watu wangu wakivamiwa na wakati mwingine kuonya watu wakati kuna mlango wa shetani umefunguka kuambia fungeni mlango kwa sababu usipofungwa hukumu ya Mungu inakuja sending a warning blowing the trumpet siku ya leo because of lack of spiritual watchmen kanisa imechanganyikana unakuta kanisa hata watu wanaoabudu shetani wameingia mpaka kwa leadership because hakuna mtu ambaye anaye honor adui anapoingia praise the name of the living god mipango ya adui inapangwa na inafauru katikati ya watu wa Mungu kwa sababu hakuna mtu anayeona katika jamii yako mipango inapangwa mapando adui anataka kupanda wengine hata Mungu akijaribu kuhudumia kwamba kuna kifo kinakuja kuna kansa inakuja kuna ajali inakuja kuna hali hii baya inakuja wengine haushikanishi ya kwamba God is ministering to you as a spiritual watchman anakuonyesha hatari ambayo adui anataka kuleta katika jamii na anakuambia wake up prayer is not just for prayer festivals may god help us to make prayer a lifestyle that you can dedicate time before god out of the 24 hours can't you find even 15 minutes 30 45 an hour just to be in the presence of god and telling god i am a watchman leave it to me help me to understand in the name of jesus that i may know that i may see praise the name of the living god and even opening the gates of blessing the bible says in the book of isaiah that your gates will not be closed day and night that you may be able to receive the wealth of the nations praise the name of the living god a watchman can open the gates so that the blessings of god can also be able to flow ah kwa sababu wakati mazuri yanayokuja nani anafungua mlango si ni watchman yeah So kuna watu wanafaa kuona mazuri. Mungu anaachilia karama. Mungu anabariki watu kwa njia hii. Wako pale wanafungua. The Bible says your gates will always stand open. They will never be shut day or night so that men may bring you the wealth of the nations. They are kings land in triumphal procession. These are not just the ordinary gates. These are spiritual gates that can be crossed in people's lives. But there must be someone watching and opening the gates of blessing in the family in the church in the city in the nation the work of the enemy is to cast spells release curses bind the lives of people but God uh, told Moses uh, tell Joshua the priest uh, and his sons uh, to stand before my people and bless them open the gates of blessing There are people who are supposed to be spiritual watchmen opening the gates of blessing that will not be crossed so that the Lord can release whatever he desires to do like the move we have received this morning they are spiritual watchmen when they stand at the gate God can come and sweep over in our service yes shakabaganda baboshe and healing and deliver us the blessings of god people are not stopped in the mighty name of jesus 
Hey, Shakaba Ganda. Reka Baganda, the age of Gabriel, told Daniel uh, from the first day you started to pray, I was sent. But the prince of Persia arrested me that I may not be able to release uh, the blessing, uh, the message uh, that God uh, had sent me to you. I declare the forces of darkness uh, that stops uh, the blessings uh, of God's people in the name of Jesus. Uh, they are powerless. Uh, this is a no-go zone. Uh, receive an encounter. Let this be a house uh, of encounters. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every day you come here. Hey, Shakamaganda, even before prayer, you receive your hearing. Uh, even before the preacher begins uh, to preach, uh, already the Lord is speaking to you. Already the Lord is ministering to you. Already the weight, uh, the burden uh, is being lifted. Uh, the yoke uh, is being broken uh, because the anointing uh, of God uh, is already there in the name of Jesus uh, to break the yokes of the enemy oh my God uh, raise spiritual watchmen uh, who are going to resist the enemy and open the gates for your blessings uh, in the name of Jesus uh, receive that anointing uh, of a spiritual watchman uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, these are intercessors. Uh, Rekamaganda. These are men and women uh, who stand in the gap. Uh, Rekamaganda. Rekamaganda Bashanda. Rekabaganda Bashanda. Rekabaganda Bashanda. That is one of the greatest assignments. Uh, when you say you are an intercessor, you are saying, I am a spiritual watchman. Are you ready to watch over your life? To watch over your family. Just lift your hands and repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I receive your word today. And as a child of God, I declare I am a spiritual watchman. Give me the ability to see. Give me the ability to hear. I declare the enemy will not slip into my life unnoticed, even into my family even into my church, into the city, into the nation. I receive the grace and the spirit of a spiritual watchman. And from today, I take my position in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Let the grace of God be upon your life. Reka baganda bashanda baganda. Reka baganda bashanda baganda Reka baganda bashanda arose the mighty warrior Soga Reka baganda bashanda baganda We give you glory we give you honor in Jesus name Amen we can take our seats There is something we are going to do today as we said last Sunday I believe we are going to receive more directions. And today we are launching our 24 hour watches. Praise the name of the living God. And uh, these 24 hour watches, this is something we have done before. You are going to choose one watch per week. A watch is three hours, a day has eight watches. Every watch is about three hours. If you read the Bible in the book of Exodus, chapter 12 and verse 42, there are many mention in the Bible of watches. Praise the name of the living God. So it's, it's not something new. It's something in the Bible. Um, and we can be able to... 12 of 42. Uh, because the Lord kept vigil that night... To bring them out of Egypt. On this night all the Israelites. Are to keep vigil. To honor the Lord. For the generations to come. Let's read in. Um, a new living transition. For easier transition. On this night the Lord kept his promise. To bring his people out of the land of Egypt. So this night. Belongs to him. It must be commemorated. Every year by all the Israelites from generation to generation. God visited 
the children of Israel at the midnight watch. Many times judgments are released at night. Na Mungu wakati alipotembea akasema it is good this night is going to be commemorated because it was a night of deliverance. Praise the name of the living God. We have seen in Isaiah chapter 62 verse 6 that God has posted watchmen in the walls of Jerusalem. They will not be silent day and night. Huh? Oh, Jerus I have posted watchmen on your walls, O oh, Jerusalem. They will never be silent day or night. You who call on the Lord, give yourselves no rest. So what you're going to do, as a vehicle starts moving, will give you more direction. But what you're supposed to do is to choose a watch, maybe, and uh, because God is the one who posts watchmen, as a watchman, sometimes you feel there is uh, an inclination to pray in a certain watch. There are people who have an inclination of praying at the midnight. There are others who have an inclination to pray early in the morning. There are people who feel an anointing can come upon them at the noon time and they start praying. So it's also good to connect uh, with the grace of God upon your life and say, this is where I feel God can help me to be taking only three hours in a week. Only three hours in a week. And that day you can make it a day of fasting. Even if it is partial from morning to evening, uh, maybe you can be praying the, the, the watch uh, uh, of the early morning from uh, 6 a.m. up to 9 a.m., 9 a.m. up to 12 of noon, 12 of noon up to 3 a.m., 3 a.m. up to 6 p.m. Then we have 6 p.m. Maybe the media can uh, be able to bring up that poster. Um, these are the prayer watches, the day watches, and the night watches. It is very simple. What you are going to do, you choose your watch and then you are going to send an SMS to that number. 0722 58 38 28. Then, once you send your watch, we are going to cluster people in watches. And then there will be a WhatsApp page. And then you'll be receiving prayer items in that page for your watch. The idea of meeting together and praying, that will come later. But those who want to pray, maybe in the uh, daytime watches, they can use our, uh, uh, our, our church up there. Those who want just to come here and pray, wanaweza kutumia ile kanisa ya zamani. Lakini tungetaka kwanza, you take a watch. There are people who can decide, I'll be going to Heaven's Gate, I'll be praying at home. Some of the uh, mid, uh, uh, night watches, you just need to wake up uh, at home and pray. Uh, so you just take uh, that number, you send an SMS or WhatsApp. WhatsApp is better if you can use WhatsApp. Na ninasikia itumi pesa, sindio? Sini kutuma tu. WhatsApp. Useme jina yangu, namba yangu ya simu. Na unaweza kusema, maybe satellite church yako nigani. We can go with the satellite churches. Sema satellite church, church yako nigani. Kama ni church without walls, uh, those who are watching, just like church without walls. And then you tell us, I pick the night watch. You can even the, say night watch number one, number two, number three, number four. I'm a day watch number one, two, three, four. Even if you don't give us the time, we already have the time. If you give us the time, the better. If it's not clear, we'll call you back. Until we have all watches covered that we know there are people who are standing in the garden. So these are going to be 56 watches in a week. And these 56 watches, if we have, even if it is 100 people, I believe in the future we should have 1,000 in every watch. 56,000 people. Uh, and this, we are going to take it to, uh, I, I know I mentioned we will be having an altar, a room whereby we are going to have people in charge of those watches. And then we are going to launch a platform that now the minister in that watch can come live on that platform. Yeah? It is going to be a private platform. It can be on Zoom or other platforms. You know, COVID has taught us that we have to move with technology. So as a church, we, we are embracing technology. So this is a first step. 
but we are going to develop it further whereby now when we cluster all the people into watches, then we are even going to have readers for those watches. We are going to have WhatsApp pages. We can send the prayer items you are going to pray for in that watch. And we say this time of the watch, you divide it into two. You pray for yourself first. You are the greatest asset in the hands of God. And then the other part, you pray for the items you receive in the watch. You could be praying for the nation. You could be praying for the church. Or as we receive spiritual arats, we can be able to tell you, pray for this item. See you on Elaisi Sana. Mumechukua your number. Huh? Nigani, uliza jirani your number, Nigani. Anakwambia hajaona vizuri. Imerudishwa mara ya pili. 0722583828. Send a WhatsApp message or an SMS message. You can like the number, do it prayer free. Usifanye tu kwa msisimko na sio lazima kila mtu atume. Let's begin with people who are lady. Some of these commitments you need to be serious. The Bible says do not utter a word before God and then you say it was a mistake. When you commit yourself to do something. The other day I was preaching about uh, kingdom investors. We need people who can invest time in this kingdom. And this is one of the ways you can invest time. But I believe it is very easy for each one of us. Because it is only three hours in a whole week. So if I pick Monday, my watch will be coming up on Monday. If I pick Saturday, my watch will come up on Saturday. So anyone can afford three hours a week. Si ni kweli mwanda senator si unaweza afford 3 hours ya maombi kila mtu anaweza ku afford masaa matatu peke yake unajiombea unaombea jamii yako baadaye tunakwambia in this watch we are praying for this item and this item hatutaweka mambo mengi hapana tutakuwa wale wanajua how we started the prayer festivals we could send you what you are praying for and scriptures za kuweza kuomba nazo and will be done. Can I pray that prayer to launch the watches now? Father, would like to begin a journey where, Lord, we believe in your word that you have already posted watchmen in the walls of the church, in the walls of this nation, a people whom you have laid to stand in the gap for your purposes. And now, Lord, as we roll out this program of praying in all the watches day and night. Father, I commit this program to you. In the name of Jesus. You know the watchmen by their name. Father, help them to commit themselves unto you, not unto man. So that they are going, my Father, to receive the blessing that you have ordained for them. And so, Father, in Jesus' name, I cover this program with the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost. And I pray for the grace those who are supposed to pray in daytime there will be sufficient grace. Those who will be praying at night, there will be sufficient grace. And I commission this program in your presence from today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, we'll still come to a place whereby we'll have a list of all the names of all the watches. So this week is just a week of commitment. And then by Sunday, we'll see all the watches are covered and then now we can commission i'll have the list of the people we commission now the people to begin their watches so the watches uh, you can start practicing this week take your day pray for three hours be in the presence of god and god will bless us praise the name of the living god we shall continue to midwife the purposes of god through prayer in the mighty name of jesus this is part of uh, the platform that will continue to push and to midwife the purposes of God through prayer. Praise the name of the living God. The Bible says, men ought to always to pray and not to faint. There ought to be continuous prayer, unceasing prayer. And there is a place we are going after we, unajua ni vile inasemekana mvua, haitoki kule ju, mvua inatokanga uko chini. Lazima mvuke upande Ukiwa mwingi, unashuka na mawingu na mvua. Maombi yare tunaomba, we are forming the crowds. Na tumeanza kusikia manyunyu. 
Praise the name of the living God. Let's continue forming the crowds through our prayer. And then there will be a sound of a mighty rain. Praise the name of the living God. God bless you. I want to give an opportunity to them who would like to give their life to Jesus. You came in this service. And you are saying, Apostle, even as you talk about watchmen, I would like to give my life to Jesus. I am not born again, or I'm a backslider. And I have felt the presence of God in this service. And I feel the Lord is calling me back to serve him. You'd like to give your life to Jesus. Just lift your hand wherever you are. Inuwa mkono wako ju. Asanti. Inuwa ju kabisa. Inuwa. Inuwa vizuri. Simama tu. Simama tu. Lies up on your feet. Thank you. Thank you. Even those who are in the overflows. Simama. 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 Asanti. We can do better than that. Let us celebrate the saving grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. We give God all the glory. We have seen a great harvest of souls. Every Sunday we are seeing over 20 people coming in, joining the discipleship class, and we give God all the glory in Jesus' name. I want to pray for you. Just repeat this pray, short prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I repent my sins. Forgive me from today. I give you my life. I surrender to you. Use me, Lord, according to your will. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me, for restoring me back to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, I pray for all these precious souls. They have made a prayer of confession by faith. Those who are here and those who are far, I commit them into your holy hands. And I pray that you may give them a born-again experience through the regenerating power of the Holy Spirit in their lives. May you give them the joy of salvation. And may you cause them to walk in your ways all the days of their lives. We worship you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Ware wote wame omba hayo maombi na wako hapa ndani ama wako kwa overfrost watakuja on my left kuna hema hapa na watakutana na our pastors Asanti naona pastor James na pastor Ose wanaenda twende pale tukutane na wao na Mungu atawabariki sasa tungependa kumwabudu Mungu kwa matoleo yetu saa zetu zimeenda but we like to worship God through giving na sisi ni watu wamekomaa kwa kutoa because today tulikuwa tumesema tutatoa kwa sababu ya uh, World Revival Center na pesa zile ambazo tume pledge ili tuweze kujaziria zile pesa tulitoa last time so day to dedicate our giving today to that project um, and so if you can be able to give through the envelopes or through the payable number ya World Revival we can have it first those who have pledged, you know you are able to get an auto-response message and you know what is your balance. And uh, whatever we are able to give is going to help us. It's go, going to go a wrong way to help us to get to a threshold of the required amount so that we can enter into the next phase of the project. And I believe that God is going to bless us. So we can use the pay bill, double four, double four, triple seven, and then account, you just enter World Revival Center or WRC. WRC. Double four, double four, triple seven. Then account WRC. If you want to give any other form of giving, you can use our other pay bills, 807101, 807100. But I would wish we dedicate all our giving to. World Revival Center. For those who are not able to give through the pay bill numbers, you can use our MPESA numbers. Uh, those who are following and they are in the diaspora, you can use our pay bill, uh, our MPESA number 0717944444 or 0706262626. Father, we worship you through giving. And we are forever grateful for giving us an opportunity to serve you. As your people are honoring their pledges. And others, Lord, are giving their form of offerings to worship you, Lord. 
may you receive every form of giving today and release your blessing upon your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. As we continue to give, I want to remind all of us that uh, this coming week we'll be having a very special meeting in Eldoret of National Peace Prayers where we'll be praying for the nation. Yeah, you can um, continue giving, please. There are baskets uh, near you. Thank you. Those who are giving through the m you are okay. I want to release our online members. Uh, we are going to be having a lally as we come to the end of the prayer festival. But just a reminder that our National Peace Prayer Meeting will be in Eldoret. In Eldoret, in town, there is a ground called Tax Center. And that is why, where our mega tent will be. We'll be praying on 13, 14, and 15. That is on a Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. These are three days of prayer and fasting for the nation. And I believe that God will be able to help us. I know it's only a few people who are able to go uh, there physically. But I encourage all of us to take those three days as days of prayer. And we can be able to agree together from wherever you be. We can be a million people or two million people praying. But we have a few who will be able to travel to Eldoret. Father, I want to bless our online members and I want to pray for grace sufficient upon their lives and that you're going to meet them at the point of their needs. May their cry, O oh God, be heard from on high and every need be met according to the riches in glory in Christ Jesus our Lord. We worship you, we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Let us meet for the lally. Uh, from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. This has been a week of prayer festival, so you cannot afford to miss the lally today. Welcome and God bless you. To a piggy and my coffee.